Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do Asam Pedas Fish. Please look at the description for the instruction and ingredients. I have uh, put in exactly what I, I put in my recipe. So for this, I have one and a half uh, onion, red onion, about eight, to, seven to eight uh, shallots, small onion, and that is uh, sarai, lemongrass. I'm going to use, this is frozen, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, and 22 stalk of dry chili. I have uh, soaked them in hot water and drained. This is galangal, that is the uh, lengkuas. I'm going to use one tablespoon of uh, this frozen sarai and half a tablespoon of galangal. All this is going to be grounded in the uh, mixer. I, I did not pour in any water in them, so I just grind them here. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of coconut oil. This recipe calls for more oil, but uh, I'm not using a lot of oil, so I'm going to work with uh, three tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. Uh, for this, since I'm using less oil, I need to saute uh, quite a bit. This is the oil that I'm using. So uh, I have to uh, keep on sauteing as, uh, to make sure nothing is... Uh, but burn at the bottom of this uh, corningware. That's tomato paste. A tomato puri. Okra, the corner, this is tamarind from one ping pong size uh, tamarind in one cup. This is uh, the Vietnamese mint leaf that is uh, down kasum. As in two tomatoes. I'm using sea bass, the fish, frozen fish. So, um, we're going to keep on sauteing here. And at least 10 minutes, that's the sea bus. You may add in the tomato puree here. It's one tablespoon. If you don't add in tomato puree, so it's fine. Just uh, increase your tomatoes. So you just have to make sure the uh, oil separates from the uh, uh, rumpa, the spices here. So this is uh, turmeric, half teaspoon. And here, at this point, you may add in uh, the uh, salt, two teaspoons of salt and one tablespoon of coconut sugar and don't forget the uh, that's the uh, then Vietnamese mint leaf I am putting it now because it's a frozen I only have the frozen one so usually you have to put this uh, at the end or when you are putting the uh, fish you can put during that time or just before or during the time when I'm putting my tomato, that's the time you can put in the uh, uh, down kasum. If you don't have down kasum, you can use the uh, kaffir leaves. Some people use curry leaves also, but uh, down kasum is the best for asambaras.
So this is the uh, tamarind juice. One cup of water. Use one cup of water to squeeze out the juice. I use two cups of water here, but please use three cups of water. And that's okra. Once it starts to boil, put in the uh, okra and the fish. The tomato you can put later because it cooks very fast. So after five minutes, I'm going to come back. So it's going to be on a high heat. A high is in like a number four in the gas stove. So after five minutes, I'm going to overturn and put in the tomatoes. So if the fish has already been like submerged, you don't have to overturn, you can just leave it as it is. So, uh, yeah. Two tomatoes. I'm gonna boil for about at least five minutes. So this is like five minutes. So I'm just going to another two minutes will be done. So you may s switch off the uh, stove. Try. Let me know in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the lavishing like button. See you in my next upload. Bye.